Welcome to Nine Holes with a Scratch Golfer at the fantastic Sherlin Golf and Country Club where you can see my thought process out on the golf course and also see when the swing doesn't feel too comfortable that day you can still learn to play smart golf and shoot the lowest score possible. So, shall we? Right guys, sit back, relax, grab a drink, come inside my mind for nine holes. Working on a different shot shape recently, so work in progress. So hole one, 313 yards, wind today is 10 miles an hour, gusting at 20, it's down off the left today. Don't want to go out of bounds, so I've got my trusty 21 degree. Just going to send this, hopefully with a little bit of draw, down the left hand side. Decent enough connection, we're down the left hand side, could leave a tricky little shot into the green. Okay strike, 260 yards, still got 55 yards to the pin, cleaning those grooves with the new Golf Mad Dad 3-in-1 cleaner. The problem here, got to carry the bunker, not much green to work with, it straightened our wind, so I'm going to struggle to hold the green, but we'll try and flick something up there. Just popped through the back of the green, was never going to hold the green there with the 20 mile an hour gust coming down here. Grass is actually into the ball and the ball is sat down. So I'm actually using my toe down chip here just to try and pop something so that it doesn't run away from me. Caught it nice, quite a bit of spin on there. Take that from that lie. Toe down chip, definitely love that chip these days. It's my go-to for sure. Take a par. Off we go. Right guys, hole two, par three, 190 yards, playing 180 with the slope. Again, the wind down hard off the left. Actually gonna hit my nine iron on here. It's about the misses. I don't wanna go long, don't wanna miss left. So the miss is actually short and short right. So with a nine iron, should take long out of play. If it rides the wind with the new little draw shot shape, could get up to pin high, but we're hopefully taking long out of play. Not a bad strike, not the best strike, so it definitely again takes long out of play. Front right, I think it's just crept on, so I'll take that with this wind all day. Just crept onto the front edge. As you can see from behind me, it cambers all the way down, so you can pitch this short and it will roll on. Here I've got about 25 feet, Use my aim point, what I've kind of worked out for myself on the percentage wise. Also, have done a bit of work recently on my distance control, actually using my right hand where it finishes on the backswing to equate for my distance. So, my inside thigh, mid thigh, out thigh. I've actually worked out my 10, 20, 30, 40 foot hand for the first week. It's actually been using here. So, this is my 25 foot. It's gonna break. Can't be too aggressive with this one. Again, good speed control. I'll do a video later down the line how I'm working with my distance control, but it's definitely working at the moment. Hopefully eliminating the three puts. But again, take apart with this tough win today. Hole three, par five, 529 yards. Big dog leg left to right, and the wind is strong into off the right. The par fives here are tough, they're long, but also with the big dog legs, it kind of negates the distance I can gain off the tee. So here, I'm just pegging it down a little bit. I'm trying to hit a big cut. I'm gonna have to cut this 30, 40 yards to chase around that corner. Sometimes tempted, little gap on the right hand side. I could play this down the fourth, which I actually did the day after, but for here, we're gonna peg down, try and cut the driver. Good strike, definitely cutting into that wind. Gonna lose some distance, but it will make the hole a little bit shorter. Hit the cut nicely down the right side, still 255, not gonna get there into the wind. Actually pulled this one, gonna leave me a tough third shot going in. So that was really a bad miss for the second shot. I really need to miss this right or short from here. Where the pin is, I've short sighted myself. There's a bank just before the pin. So if it hits the bank, it's gonna kick through. Sat down in the rough here, so I'm undecided really. I 
don't want to, I can't fly this all the way and stop it, so I'm trying to pitch this short, let it roll out. I was tempted to play the little toe down again, get a little bit steeper on it, but at least we're putting for birdie. But as we know, second time round is always easier, but this is where I want to do my little toe down, cut across that ball, still get to pitch up but with a lot more spin. You can see the spin on that, just cambering down, should have done that first time. As we said, at least we're putting for birdie. Always like to pace my putts out. So at seven yards, 21 feet. Then I can use my little clock face putting system. Again, bit of slope on this. You can't be too aggressive past it. Just want to put a good strike on it. See if I've read it right and get the pace. All about pace for me. Got a chance. Happy with the stroke I put on it. Just didn't break quite as much. Again, the par fives here with the wind and the dog legs are tough. Stays level. Hole four, really long par five, 584 yards. Again, dog leg left this one, but it is downwind off the left. The only thing now, there's a ditch running down the left-hand side at about 250, 260, which definitely comes into play, but I think it is GUR at the moment. So we're just gonna try and put a stroke on this, let the wind send it. That's the thinking anyway. As you can see, nearly topped that ball and it's actually chasing really well for pretty much hit the last couple of grooves on that driver. So it actually went 275 off the tee, still got 275 in, balls above my feet. So I gripped down on a five iron, didn't want to push this right with the wind off the left to bring trouble into play and take a pitch onto the green. 50 yard pitch using the left hip release, trying to chase it back there with a 54 degree, pushed it slightly but pin high. Putting for birdie, 15 feet, again, big slope on this one. I read this as about my 3% of slope. So again, just want to choose my line, put a good stroke on it. Happy with the stroke, just broke more than I thought. Make sure for the par, disappointed not to birdie the par five downwind, but it's definitely not a gimme par five. Stays level par. Hole five, par three, 140 yards, playing 155 with the wind. You've got the bunkers at the front. You don't want to go long as the green slopes back to front. So I don't want to hit a chippy nine. So I'm actually going to go back foot, pitching wedge with the new little stock draw shape, which might get there if I flush this one, but it will take longer to play again. Decent enough strike, definitely compressed that one. Think it's made it to the front.
made it to the front right 10 paces so 30 feet just past the pin the pins right at the back of green so it's a tough pin you don't want to go long you've had a gun long there was no chance i was holding that chip anywhere near that pin so a little bit of slope in this 30 feet playing this is about a 35 foot to get through the fringe and into the wind and up slope also so Again, good stroke, good pace control. The new clockwork system on my putting is definitely working. Another stress-free par stays level par. Hole six, the third of the par fives on the front nine, five, four, six, but again, huge dog leg. The problem now is this ditch also. I think it's GUR, but it comes into play. The trees on the right can't get up and over them. Wind is 20 mile an hour gust off the right. So I'm actually just going to try and hit. There's a bomb straight ball and play this down the fourth fairway. Actually crush this one. With this wind, it definitely makes it a tough tee shot for me. So I'm on the fourth fairway, still got 275 in. Looking for the little gap, I've actually pushed that right and caught the top of that big tree. I was aiming left of that tree where the gap is. Still found the fairway, we're never going to reach anyway, so it's pitch time. 55 yards, I'm actually going to try and cut spin this one in, it slopes massively left to right. So the goal was to aim at this a pin and let it cut down. I've actually pulled it slightly and it stayed left of the pin, which is going to leave a very tricky putt. So a little bit of a bad miss, a little bit of a mistake there. Still putting for birdie, but I wanted to be the right hand side of the hole on this pin location. As I said, a little bit of mistake. I wanted to finish on the right hand side of the screen really, leave myself an uphill putt here. It's only 15 foot, but it's gonna slope at about 4%. Cannot be aggressive with this one. If I am, I'm gonna be leaving myself another 15 foot coming back up. I choose my start line. This is all about that pace control that I've just been working on. As you can see, could not be aggressive, but definitely take that lag putt. Disappointed not to birdie any of the par fives, but in this wind conditions, it's about taking the big numbers off the score today and just surviving out there sometimes. Hole seven, 347 yards. Again, there is the ditch what comes into play now and does run down the right hand side. The wind is down off the left. So I'm gonna hit driver, looking to actually try and get onto the green or somewhere near the green. All about, for me, controlling the club face with this slight new move. Struck it really well, but I've just left the club face open. But I think I'll have missed that ditch. Made it past all the trouble, actually finished nearly pin high. I'm just down the side of the six hole, actually found a gap in the trees. The problem I've got is there's a big bank before this pin. So I'm actually just trying to hood down a pitching wedge to give it a little bit of top spin feel to hit that bank, try and kill it in that bank and to roll it up. Happy with that, but it took a really big bounce off that bank, popped up and that is gonna leave me a tough put down this hill. So the big bounce in the bank didn't do me any favors. Still got 30 foot here, huge slope. It's gonna play more like 15, 20 foot. That's the break line where I'm actually gonna be aiming at, trying to read in my head how it's gonna feed down from that point of the green.
The strike was good, that slope just scared me. So this was giving me thoughts of Rory McIlroy with his short left to right, still quite a bit of slope on this, downhill. Just trying to pick my line, be as aggressive as I possibly can. As you can see, so much break on that. First bit of aggression, one thing I do with my golf now, I really don't get stressed with golf, which is the big point of trying to get decent if scores. Don't get angry, guys. Hole 8, 315 yards. This is one of the toughest holes. As you can see, you can't really see much fairway. If it's downwind, I will take it on with the driver as the layup is harder than the driver tee shot. The layup area is here is about 225, but playing 250 into the wind. So I'm actually at my 21 degree to get the middle of the triangle where the two ditches are. I actually hit this really well. Going down the left slightly, but that is a tough layup. As I said, the driver when it's downwind is easier than the layup. So perfect distance with the layup, 90 yards, but I found a bare compact lie. I've got my 54 degree, gotta get ball first. Got ball first. Just finished short. Just need an extra five, six yards to get it chasing up there. So a little look back at the hole from the green, see how the layup shot is really tough with the ditches. Just a tough, tough hole. So a little draw shot. This is my new favorite short game shot I learned from Dan Grevy. Where I'm hitting a little draw chip, but I'm going to let the club head release. So it's kind of a right hit release, throw that club head. So it comes from the inside, but last minute I flick the club head. Just comes out really nice and soft when the ball's sat above on the upslope. Comes out super soft. Go in so close the toe down chip and this uphill little release the two favorite short game shots of mine another par take a par on that hole every day stays one over last hole hole nine 405 yards again strong into off the wind wouldn't normally hit driver here you get to the top of the hill and it runs down 40 50 yards but my 21 degrees only going to get to the top of the hill so today with the wind strong off the right i'm just going to send the driver down there see how far we can get it down the hole with a new Bryson trigger. Set it down the right with a little draw and the wind's off the right. Happy with that, should have got down the slope. Happy with that, but found a little thick lie, but we have got a shot into the green. It's got about 350 yards. That's the bank what we were talking to. Normally my iron finish at the top, but into this wind that was never gonna go through from there. Can't really see, the bunker's on the right. So I'm gonna chase something down my left. Gonna come in steeper. I'm gonna use my pitching wedge here. Come steeper to get it out of that rough. So I know it's gonna chase, but can I hold the green? Just gotta get strike here. Steep. Really happy with connection. Pitched it short. Hoping that would stay on the green, but it's just run through the back, leaving a little delicate chip. So it's left me with a little delicate. The grass was actually coming from the side and slightly into, and the green runs away from me. So again, this is where I'm using my toe down chip, come across the ball to take the least amount of grass as possible, try and impart as much spin as possible. Really happy how soft that came out. Right guys, I hope you enjoyed that. A little insight into how I play golf. The main thing for me is I don't get stressed with golf. My golf IQ has definitely improved, better than my catching skills, which definitely helps keep the big numbers off the card, play smarter golf, even when the swing doesn't feel 100%, we can still play. Till next time, guys.